going to make this little heart guy holding an arrow. What you need for this one is two red 260s or whatever color you want the heart with five finger tails. I'm going to use a black 160 this time for the arrow instead of blue. And that also has a five finger tail. And a red 160 for the arms with a five finger tail. And a little white five inch white round, maybe the size of a golf ball blown up for the eyes. And then tie it up a little bit away closer to the knot. Just like that. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start at his feet. So take each of your red 260s with five finger tails. Make sure you let a puff of air out before you tie them. And let's make a little three finger bubble and then a cherry tomato size pinch twist. Do the same thing on each balloon. A three finger bubble and a cherry tomato size bubble pinch twist for each foot. And then we're gonna curve his feet just a little bit to give them shape. So I'm gonna hold it here and then just kind of bend it over and just kind of squeeze it a little. And that'll give him a, like a little bit of a, you know, kneecap and a shape to his leg. And then on the other one, I'm gonna do the same thing, but kind of bend it so it's the other way. So when he stands, it's kind of like this. And then what we wanna do is measure about four fingers and four fingers and then Twist the bubble right up above that. Make a cherry tomato sized bubble. And then pinch twist that. Do the same thing on this one. Four fingers right up to the kneecap. Four fingers and then right up above that. Squeeze the air up towards the end. If it's getting tight, twist that and then make a cherry tomato sized bubble. Pinch twist that. And then we're gonna take these two pinch twists and turn them together. Put one pinch twist in the front and one in the back. Like this. And then I just kind of point them up. One up and down and in the front and the back. And now what we want to do is squeeze the air up towards the end a little bit so it's mushy. So this is your heart part. And then you're going to take your elbow and then measure up to your wrist right here and we're going to twist that off do the same thing on this side well you don't have to use like your elbow to your wrist on this side just look and kind of you know pull this up like here with your thumb and twist it off so it's the same size like that Now what we want to do is make a six finger bubble right at the top, four, five, six, and twist it. And then bring it down here to the pinch twist and wrap it around. And then these loads are going to get bent up at the top to form a heart. If you have more room, you can make this like a little longer than your wrist to shape it out. It's however big you, you want it. You can make it like maybe from here. I know everybody's elbow to wrist is like longer and shorter, but I just use that as like a reference. So you can stretch it out a little bit and then bring this down and twist it. Or you can even make this part shorter if you want. I'm just gonna wrap this, like twist it around. You just need it, this one wrapped around these pinch twists and then I'll spin that around. And the rest of this gets popped off and tied together. Or you can cut the end and tie it off. So you have two pieces and then just knot those. I like to knot everything two times because I don't like it to come undone. Knot it twice and then kind of pull this up and cut off those knots and don't forget to give your little heart guy a pedicure he has long toenails sticking out cut those off up above the knot like this now we're gonna fix his little feetsies 
like that. Fix the little pink twist in the front and the back. And then, then let's work on his little arms. Let's make a tiny little round bubble, a tiny little round bubble, and then pinch twist that. These ones are about the size of grape tomatoes. Go down about three fingers, bend it, <laughs> this is getting in the way, to make his elbow. Kind of turn it and pluck it like that. I'm gonna give him shoulders too, because it's kind of cute. Up another three fingers, bend it like that. Give him a little shoulder. So you have this. This could be like, you know, the middle part of his neck here. So go down three fingers, and then another three fingers, and we're gonna bend it again. To give him his other shoulder. Down three fingers to give him his other elbow. Pluck that out. Three fingers down. Give him a little grape tomato or smaller than a grape tomato. Pinch twist for the bottom part of the hand. And then, then another little tiny round bubble for his other hand. And break or pop or cut and tie that off. <laughs> and knot it. And then you can cut these off right up above the knot. And then you want to take this part his little arms and tuck them into this little middle part right here. Like that. Whoops, he's backwards. Turn his feet around. You can always turn his feet around. It's not really a big deal. Just have to turn his little cushions off that way. So I have this, and then you wanna take that little white golf ball size bubble, split it in half so this middle part, like. Kind of hold it like this, and then split it in half so the knot is up. You also can use a piece of white 350 or 260. I just wanted to use a white five inch round this time. Wrap it around, like the whole way around the center, and then pull it through to knot it. And then take this, and we're gonna put it right up here and then just kind of flip it around the front like this. That should be good. And now we're gonna work on the arrow. So, here he is again. And you can put, see I put like blue color in his eye and then filled in black pupils, but I'm just gonna make them all black this time. I just wanted to see what that would look like. It doesn't look too bad. Now let's make the arrow though. So for the arrow, this has a five finger tail and a little puff of air out before you tie it. Make a little three finger bubble. Two little tiny round cherry, uh, well, grape tomato size bubbles and pinch twist those. Make a little spacer bubble and then do it again. Two little grape tomato size bubbles and pinch twist those. If at any time your balloon's getting tight, just hold here and here and squeeze it up a little bit. All right, now we want to measure about 10 fingers, five and five. Go down here, right up above your 10th little finger. Make a, make a little, make a little great tomato sized bubble and pinch twist that. Make another one and pinch twist that. Now we're gonna make the arrow part. Squeeze this up, it's getting tight again. So I'm gonna go down about three fingers. And then I'm gonna go up about four fingers, or maybe five fingers. Go down about three fingers, go up about five fingers, and then two fingers. So hold all this together, don't leave go it or it'll come undone. Like this, three fingers, five fingers, two fingers. Hold it all together, and then we're gonna wrap it around this two pinch twist. That'll give it an arrow shape. If you do need a pinch twist, it would help on the end of the arrow. You can put that in. You don't, I mean, you can do your three finger bubble, then pinch twist and do the five finger and the two finger, but I'm just gonna put it after. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's probably easier to put it in before. Two finger bubble, five finger bubble, right up above that. And then little grape tomato size bubble and pinch twist it like that. And then wrap the pinch twist around right here. 
Now you can cut and tie that off, or you can put another pinch twist, a little grape tomato size bubble pinch twist it, and you could just leave that end on and wrap it around. It really doesn't matter. So that just looks like it has a point on the arrow. And then even that out, and now we're gonna put it in his hands. So I'm just gonna wrap right below here, in one of his hands, whichever way you want the arrow facing, it doesn't matter. He's a little heart cupid type of guy. So we're like this. And then anywhere on here, I'm just going to go down about four fingers. I'm going to twist it and wrap it around. Put the pinch twist on the bottom and the little um, thumb on the top. And then straighten this other one out too. So your arrow looks straight. You just have to tinker with it a little bit and you'll fix it. And you can put his arms up or down or however you want him to hold his arrow. <laughs> like this. And then I'm going to give him little pupils and rest your hand right here. Put a little circle. Your hand over here, little circle. Gonna give this one a little nose, like a little curve for a nose, and like a little black banana shape for his mouth. And then little eyebrows up here. And there is your little holding an arrow. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you do, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for further notifications when I upload a video. And happy twisting. Thanks so much for watching.